Hey guys, Justin here with JKS Manufacturing. I'm down here in our R&D facility and I kind of want to talk to you about some stuff I saw on the internet. That's right, where all the, the Facebook engineers come out and, and they're, they're you know fixing all the world suspension problems. And the discussion I saw was on um, caster cams, adjusting caster with cam bolts um, on Jeep Wranglers. And uh, JKS kind of got brought into it because in our J-Venture system, we use a caster indexing plate and somebody called that a caster cam. And those are two very, very distinctly different things. So um, first we'll talk about why we're talking about any of this. So when we lift the vehicle, we need to adjust the caster. Absolutely have to, solid axle vehicle needs a caster adjustment. You know, we do two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, six inch lift. We have to find a way to reset that caster so we don't get that flighty steering or, you know, bump steer, death wobble, all the things that come with poor caster, you know, qualities. So. There's many ways to do that. We have control arms, you can do fixed, you can do adjustable, you know, that'll adjust caster. You can do cam bolts um, and you can do indexing washers like I've got here in my hand. So let's take a look at the first option, the one that we got accused of using or the one that some people find to be a problem and I may support that. And, and we'll just talk about that for a second. So let's go over here and take a look at one. Okay, so here we're with a true cam bolt. Um, don't ask me why JKS was working on an IFS vehicle. I, I have no idea what IFS will be working on. Um, but here's a Campbell. You TJ and XJ owners, um, you're gonna recognize this guy. It's got some hash marks on it. It's not a round washer, okay, at all. It's, it's kind of half round. And basically you loosen the nut, which loosens the bolt, and we can dial this, and it's gonna allow this control arm to move this way and that way. Um, I would show you this on a Jeep, but we don't use those here at JKS. We don't. But this is used on this particular vehicle, and for, for this purpose, for IFS and in some, you know, older TJ and XJs, it works fine. Tighten bolts shouldn't come loose. You know, if we tighten them properly, they shouldn't come loose. Um, but it does have the possibility of coming loose, and when it does, it can make its own adjustments, which we don't want it to do. Um, so this is a, a cam washer, a cam bolt. Um, can be described many different ways. Um, so basically, it's eccentric. You know, it's, it's like a camshaft or eccentric, it's rotational. We rotate that, it's got a hashtags, it makes different um, adjustments. A fantastic factory piece to allow us to dial in proper alignment specifications, in this particular case on an IFS vehicle. So that's what that actually is. When you hear somebody talking about that, that's what they should be talking about or what they're referencing. So let's go over and take a look at a Jeep with something else on it. So here we are back under a solid axle vehicle, a Jeep in this case, you know, which we're more familiar with, and we've got a I call this a, a caster correction plate, an indexing plate, whatever you might want to call it. As you can see, it is a square and it has got an offset hole drilled in it, okay? And you're like, wow, what is that for? You know, whatever. We look, here's a control arm bolt. It's a factory location, uh, factory axle, no, no, no wizardry here. Um, what you would do to use this, okay, and why would you use it? Depending on how I rotate this, I can make the control arm longer, shorter, or neutral. So it's got three positions. I can make it shorter than stock. I can make it longer than stock by about, oh, five sixteenths, three eighths of an inch. Um, or I can, you know, put it in a neutral position, meaning it's just a stock length. How this works and why this isn't a cam bolt um, is, is what we're gonna show you next. So the bolt is in there. We apologize for that, but we're not taking apart. There are two tabs on this axle. You can see these two tabs. They don't touch this nut or anything like that. They have no real purpose, except for one of these. Uh, this fits in between the two tabs, okay? And you rotate it and lock it with those two tabs in the position that you want it in, okay? When you lock it, even if the bolt comes loose, it cannot change the alignment setting that we put on it. This allows us to fine tune caster with factory control arms, okay? So this will not get bumped on a trailer, no, you know, bolt loosened or something like that and rotate on its own. It is locked in place on factory tabs. You know, that's, that's one of the most important things for me. Um, when you talk about something, you know, as a, a bit of a workaround, it's not a replacement control arm. But again, not all Jeeps need replacement control arms. You know, we go back to J-rated in use case and how you're using your Jeep. You know, it doesn't necessarily need aftermarket control arms when there's a way to adjust caster for that. Um, so we just wanted to highlight that difference and show you the J Venture kits with JKS come with these. These work fine. If you'd like to upgrade to control arms, we can absolutely do that. Um, and it, you know, in a lot of cases, I will take, especially on a taller lifted vehicle, we go to four and a half inches. I might still use the fixed arms 
and these in combination because I need a little bit more caster. So just one of those little tech tidbits we want to give you guys, the difference between what I call kind of a caster correction plate or an indexed washer. It's indexed on these factory tabs and a true cam bolt. As always, check us out, JKS Manufacturing or JKSMFG.com. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. See what we're up to day to day and what's going on here in the shop. Stay tuned.